Hey y'all, I'm D Aquarius. Let's play cards. You might be dealing with a Leo. Let's see who else you might be dealing with. Aquarius. Cancer. Let's have another card. Ooh, Taurus. What else you got? Capricorn. Scorpio. Libra. Anything else? Ooh, that's a lot. Y'all, that's a lot. Just Pisces. Sagittarius. Aries. And you. I don't know. Is it you against the world? Anywho. There's a lot. A lot of energy around you. You feel like uh, maybe even a ball of fire. Something that there's really not. All those things just wanted to come out and I can't, I, I can't figure out. It's like a leveling up. There's some sort of like flame. I'm not really sure what the flame is here. Maybe somebody's starting to believe in their own flame or something like that. It's, this has something to do with fire. Can I have some cards, the ones that I really want? Y'all, uh, I do do personal readings and I do charge for them because apparently there's like messages going around. I don't know who the hell wants to copy me anyways. I'm not that popular so anywho back to you uh yeah tara with d43 i'm also on youtube and uh you call me out on call you. anywho there you go uh healer of all ages a woman holding a coin uh home is very important and so isn't like right now this new life Ooh, these both want to come out we're not going to do all of oh whoa, whoa nelly that's way too much here and this is the fire i was talking about well what's behind that Getting grounded, learning what grounded is, taking some sort of mask off. The mask could be the ego, removing burdens, freedom from burdens. Maybe the mask is a burden. Uh, and sometimes information could be a burden too, just saying. So this is the fire I'm talking about. It's in the third chakra. Archangel Chamuel here. There's like a need to do something, desire something has to change. You want to change. You don't know how to change it. You don't even know exactly what you want to change here. But there's some sort of new life. Two, three, four. Forward movement. That's all good stuff. Choosing to be in the moment, in the now. Let's see what's up. This is about a spiritual support and purpose. This is being in the now and being happy and content. Content is happy. And there is a, a new life. So, a lot of emotions of desire. That's the fire. Uh, can I have some, what's all this healing out here? What is this healer energy? Temperance, an angel. Communicating with an angel, uniting with an angel, collaborating with an angel, angels collaborating together to overcome barriers here. And there's that motherfucking mask here behind some, I don't know, it's like a, um, the vessel. Can I have another card? Thank you, the devil. King and queen of earth are out here. What, I don't understand what that is, though. It's almost like the world can't see it. Like you're not allowed to show it. Also, the ego may, may keep people from getting on their path or from seeking their truth or um, also learning, like, I don't know, to see through people. The ability is like a lie detector, maybe. Can I have another card on this? The hermit. See through people. All right. So Virgo and Sagittarius out here. A lot of soul searching. It's definitely some possible like relocation going on here. There is some sort of estrangement as well. There's a matchmaker. People plucked from there and here to be together to do something with the healing. What is this? An opportunity to, I don't know, it's somebody very exceptional. The people are very exceptional. There's two very exceptional, enlightened, lit up people here with magic, two magical people with the psychic stuff. There's, oh, come on, the moon, and it's the king and queen of pentacles again. Oh my God, those just came out and I just put them back. 
<sighs> the devil. Someone may be upsetting the devil here. There's some sort of contract and the universe is like, hello, are you paying attention to this? Because we really want you to pay attention to this right here. The Celtic knot, like we already showed it to you. It's right in front of your face. There's marriage, uh, collective consciousness, belief system, tradition. This is unconditional love and marriage. A Celtic knot, a divine union where, where there's power. It's a protective union. It's a lot of love. And there's a catalyst when the things come together, when they, I don't know, that's more fire. Somebody fuels somebody else's flame here. This could be some sort of pregnancy. Also, some sort of changes coming in. What is this next one right here? This is a very happy life, a vibrant, happy life, a leisurely life. Birth of a daughter. I don't know what that shit is. But like I said, mama, daughter, there's something with mother and children. Ooh, learning to be in the present moment. What's very important right now is exactly that. Uh, here and now, this darling bird says be present. So pay attention to the cross. There's some information that you're supposed to be uh, absorbing is what I heard here about forward movement, about the way to move forward, about a new experience here, about your power, about abundance. It's a lot of stress here despite all this excitement. So like, this is like the only thing that seems off for all this happy, exciting stuff. Somebody, it could be their own worst enemy as well. There is a lot of stress despite all this happiness. Cause, cause why? Can you tell me why? Student, somebody's still learning because of children here, because of unfinished business of this ghost here. And the ghost literally is unfinished business, just saying. So somebody is haunted by children or haunted by a child or something like that. All the while, like there's a leveling up and enlightenment. What's this? And chaos. Amongst the chaos, there has to be some sort of order. Uh, it does feel like home sweet home, the news. A lot of stuff going on, a lot. War is uh, a faded event here. So I don't know, there's a lot of love out here. It's, it goes with sex. This says, um, usually I go for all the other things, but we're not gonna do that today. Uh, could you tell me, a romance, holiday, happiness, wilderness, exposing the people, family. This feels very start of family. It feels like love is what it feels like. True love. Thank you. Why why do I have to see all the way around the thing? Oh, and the people like to eat and shit and maybe even collect food. I would I would be somebody feels very worried about the future here and what the future has for everyone. Stop the press. Also, somebody wants to scream from like the mountaintop. Somebody is very much in love. But there's all these things that are troublesome and stressful. It's like somebody can't even enjoy it. Obstacles are things a person sees when he takes his eyes off the goal. Look at True love stories never have an end. It's a forever thing. This is what I'm saying. Like, I can't make this shit up if I motherfucking... Like, if I tried. I just can't. It just all... It's not me. It's not my message. It's not... It's just as funny, like, the way shit comes out here. So, okay, what happened to the card? Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. I would suggest staying out of your own way. And when you drop the ego, really drop the ego. That does say clean your mess. There's a broom again. Freedom of speech, freedom of press. It's almost like sometimes you can't even believe your ears of all the things that are happening. And it's like, is anyone going to do anything about anything here, around here? Uh, and a lot of things uh, have just stayed the same. And you're wondering if people are going to come around or come to or something like that. Thinking is difficult, and that's why most people judge. But regardless, stupid is contagious. You got to keep going either before you catch the shit. Just saying, karmic relatives, lessons, and toxic. See, the stupid is toxic. It's toxic. You can catch it. So watch out. If you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. And everything is about choices. We all make choices, but we can't cram the things down anyone's throat. That that's not our job here. Uh, there is a lot of good mixed in, a bunch of confused and shitty shit here, but. <clears throat> I guess it's knowing when to hold them and knowing when to oh, stop overthinking. I feel like you're getting in your own way a little bit here. Cause and effect. So, realign your thoughts so that you don't stop your um, progress and your forward motion here. Because it looks like things are going good despite all, all, all the shitty shit. Alright, toodaloo. Oh, well. <laughs>